Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is James Gagliardi, and today we're going to be covering the eighth generation Corvette release and the top five features you should know about from that. So the first thing I'd like to get out of the way discussing is the powertrain. So as many of you probably have heard, Chevrolet decided with this generation Corvette to do a mid-engine car. And that's a big thing for them, seeing that every other Corvette prior to this one has always had a front engine configuration with power going to the rear wheels. This time with the uh, mid-engine configuration, Chevy kind of bucked the trend of European auto manufacturers by uh, not going forced induction. See, a lot of uh, European manufacturers, say as Mercedes, BMW, and Audi, have gone small displacement and put turbochargers on their motor, which in turn kind of sacrifice a bit of the character of the motor, meaning, you know, it doesn't sound as well, as well as some of the responsiveness of a naturally aspirated motor. Chevy didn't do that. They kept their 6.2 liter V8, basically kind of the same from the uh, Corvette uh, C7 Stingray model. They just tweaked it a little bit by adding a dry sump oil lubrication system. And, you know, tweaking a few of the inner workings of the motor to get to 490 horsepower and 475 foot-pounds of torque. Which, in my opinion, is a very good thing because I was worried they were going to change over to having forced induction. End of engine clip. Since the car is much lower than previous generations of the Corvette, it now requires a lift system for you to get in and out of difficult driveways and you know get over curbs and whatnot. However, this is not your typical lift system. Your typical lift system, you have to hit the button, wait for it to go up, but you have to remember to hit it. And a lot of people wind up scraping because they forget to use their lift system. The Corvette has the ability for you to store a up to a thousand locations that you drive on your daily, daily uh, say commute. Say if you need the lift to get out of your driveway, you could set it as a point to remember so that the car will just automatically lift itself when you get to that location, which I think is extremely, incredibly useful and is definitely, you know, good thinking on Chevrolet's part. Removable roof panel is nothing new to the Corvette. However, this time it's just a little bit different. I think it's neat that you have three options. You could uh, have a car exposed carbon fiber weave, a body color option, as well as a transparent option with uh, body color side rails. Another important area of the new eighth generation Corvette is that it finally has a dual clutch transmission. Now, this is a big deal for the Corvette because the transmission has always been an area that the Corvette has fallen behind in the past. With the seventh generation Corvette, they improved it a real lot. However, it still had a torque converter. People complained about it, especially at like say mid throttle and you know switching gears. They said it just wasn't as responsive as they like it to be. I think that with the new dual clutch transmission, they just decided to go all the way and said the know Corvette what? is still somewhat practical. Even with the mid engine configuration, the GM's engineers still made sure to keep in mind that you need storage in a car like this. The Corvette's always kind of been your practical everyday, you know, uh, sports car slash supercar. You could take anywhere, fit some stuff in. And with this, they uh, made sure to keep some storage in the front as well as in the back where you could have up to two golf clubs, two golf club bags stored in there. No problem at all, which I think is, you know, uh, nice that they kept in mind seeing that a lot of mid-engine cars. I think Chevy's really knocked it out of the park this time with the interior. The interior in this car I feel allows the option for somebody who wants just you know the bare bones Corvette experience to have that and it not be you know unaffordable or unobtainable by having mid-grade materials in it as well as offering the option for somebody who really loves the car and has the extra money for a luxurious interior to have that because for the first time ever Corvette is now including Napa leather in their interiors. And that's a big deal because, you know, that's always been something that's set them apart in the past. You know, the seventh generation Corvette had a decent interior. And I say decent because it still had a lot of parts in it that felt cheap. There was a lot of plastics, you know, it just, the, the leather they used didn't really feel like real leather. It just, 
it didn't feel as luxurious as it should have been, especially, you know, like in a higher end model like a ZR1. However, that's all changing with this eighth generation Corvette. And, uh, you know, I think they've done a good job also in, you know, making an interior that is different from everybody else. You know, it's, it's something that looks unique, especially with that center strip. Overall, I, I think it's an interior that will age well and it provides the option for someone who wants a basic Corvette as well as somebody who wants that over the top, super luxurious car. And they can finally now have that from Chevrolet with the Corvette. With Z mode, I think Chevrolet finally realized that it's important to include a individual mode where basically, you know, like individual mode in a Mercedes where basically you can custom tailor your own drive mode. You can have your sport suspension with the comfort steering and your you know say sport uh transmission response or whatnot you could you can configure it how you'd like and one neat thing that corvette's kind of done here that a lot of the other brands haven't done is made it very easily accessible by having a button on the steering wheel that you could just press right away to get into your you know individual mode on the fly instead of going through a few different modes before you get to what you want. With this, it's just right there, which I feel like is a little bit more engaging and pretty neat. However, a lot of brands have already done this for a few years now, but it's just good to see it on the Corvette. Well, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe as I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow to provide you guys all with awesome content. Thanks for watching.